It's an invasion of cards so insane And there is no evasion They hit hard, it's great And now it's time to attack With control catcher, it's a fact No falling behind, we're back Try and stop us and things will go bad In the set, we will see Ultra Beast popping out of packs It's a feast, be careful of Cortana and Boswell You will see, like Illegal and Gosnell Would definitely eat away at your prizes Don't be shocked, you will realize that When you meet eye to eye Better say your prayers or say bye Bye. This is the finale, we use the new to value Your weakness makes us totally happy And because this new set, my world will be completely empty <laughs> Yeah, it's true Yeah, check out this top 20 list of the best cards of Crimson Invasion Episode 143 Here we go What's up, YouTube? It's Zabdo, it's TCG here, and welcome to episode 143 on my channel, where I'll be talking about the top 20 best cards from Crimson Invasion. If you're new to Crimson Invasion, this will be an ideal video for you, that way you know what to expect, uh, since the set comes out uh, next week on the 3rd of November. Also, just to get it out there, this is just my opinion. If your list is different, or if I forgot some cards, definitely put them in the comment section below, and we can get a discussion started right there. Because, yeah, the community is awesome, we'll help each other out, just as always also uh, hit the little notification bell here and uh, that way you're updated immediately if you're subscribed to the channel when a new video hits the channel and also be sure to subscribe because that way you're uh, yeah getting videos like these on a weekly basis as well so that is awesome anyway this is number 20 Salazzle Salazzle we've seen him before in Guardians Rising we've seen him in Burning Shadows now he's back in Crimson Invasion as a psychic type psychic type does have his advantages uh, over a fire type but then again having the weakness to psychic means Garbodor is definitely going to eat us up but it does have an interesting attack here the first one nasty plus search your deck for up to two cards and put them directly into your hand so it's kind of similar like the uh, magical ribbon from sylveon gx so that is great to uh, get yourself the cards that you want also pairs really well with the salazzle from guardians rising putting the opponent poisoned and uh, yeah burned as well but uh, we're not done here with this card it also has a second attack severe poison which uh, states your opponent's active pokemon is now poisoned put four damage counters instead of just one but between turns and that can become really really deadly if we pair that with Surviper from Burning Shadows because if Surviper is out we deal an additional one damage counter between turns for the poison for every Surviper we get on the field let's say we get three of them out we deal seven damage counters between turns and that can end up really really deadly and uh, it also pairs really well with the Sea of Nothingness which is a new stadium card also released in Crimson Invasion which did not make the list uh, by the way but I just wanted to mention it here because Salazzo works pretty well uh, Sea of Nothingness is actually a card a stadium card that, that prevents the uh, yeah removal of special conditions when you evolve or devolve which could help out in a poison or actually special condition uh, deck like Salazzo okay that was number 20 now we are gonna go to number 19 number 19 is Gladion for those of you that are new Gladion is an interesting card because it is a supporter card that lets you look at your face down prize cards and put one of them directly into your hand. Then shuffle Gladion and uh, yeah, your remaining prize cards. So you swap your Gladion for a card in your prize cards. That's uh, what it does. And if you didn't play this Gladion from your hand, it does nothing. So you cannot use the opponent's Gladion just to have some crazy effect. No, Gladion is just ideal for decks like maybe uh, Greninja. You want to have your uh, yeah Frogadiers out early game in your deck to put them out with water duplicates. And uh, sometimes one of your Frogadiers as prized. That is a shame. With Gladion, you now have the ability using Tapu Lele, using that Gladion supporter and grabbing yourself that Frogadier that you wanted. So uh, an interesting supporter. That way you never can say like, oh no, if my uh, if my prize cards were better, I would have won. But yeah, this can change things up. Also with decks that rely uh, purely on DCE let's say you only run four DCEs in your deck and sometimes you have one of those matches that all your double colors energies are prized while Gladian can be a uh, one-off in your deck with Tapu Lele easy searchable it's only number 19 though because uh, you are wasting your supporter for to grab something from uh, your prize cards but could be in uh, some decks a really MVP card next up is number 18 Alolan Marowak Alolan Marowak what can I say about this one it's a fire type and it's finally here Alolan Marowak has 100 HP it's a stage one evolves from Cubone and it has an attack for zero energies as we've seen before with Alolan Pokemon having an attack for zero energies rocks this one is dance of flames 
For each energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, attach a fire energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. It's sort of like Nitro Tank GX from Terminator GX, a late game, but this Alola Marowak can be even better because it's a one prize attacker. If it gets one shot, it does not even matter. And uh, if it gets one shot, we can make use of cards I'm gonna mention later in the video. So uh, yeah, it's something to do with counter, spoiler. <laughs> okay, this Alola Marowak is kinda decent. If you splash it into a fire deck, maybe Volcanion, maybe something else, you can have energy seller the more uh, the opponent has uh, energies attached to their Pokemon in any way they like. So let's say Gardevoir GX, that's your matchup. They have bazillion energies on their field. You use Marowak, attach yourself with a bunch of energies and strike back. That's the main idea here. And also have Burning Boomerang as the attack, the second attack, dealing 70 damage and you have to flip two coins for every head. You deal, uh, yeah, 70 uh, damage. So that's the way it is. And either way, if one of them is, has the opponent's active Pokemon is burned. So uh, you have the chance of dealing 140 damage with the burn is 160 so with choice man we might have a uh, situational thing here but I would not use the attack of Marowak the second attack I would use the free one and uh, build up your Turdinator GX, Ho-Oh GX or Vulcanian EX it doesn't even matter maybe your regular Vulcanian it's a really great support Pokemon to uh, recover energies in the discard pile okay that was number 18, now we're going to number 17. Number 17 is something great, it is a Peeping Red card. And if you're, um, if you're not familiar with Peeping Red card, it is an item card that uh, yeah, states your opponent reveals their hand. You may have your opponent count the cards in their hand, shuffle those cards into their deck and then they draw that many cards. It is just great to just uh, scout on what the opponent has in their hand. Sometimes uh, the opponent just uh, leaves their hand with just one card and it's a Sycamore. We already know it's a Sycamore or any kind of support, maybe a Tapu Lele. With this card, we can just get rid of that. Sometimes we can just use, uh, yeah, just Skyla for the pe Peeping Red card if you're playing Skyla in your deck. And then if they only have one card, they are in top deck position. So Peeping Red card, an interesting card I wanted to mention here. Okay, we are at number 16. Number 16 goes to Regigigas. I already talked about Regigigas before in my videos and uh, that's for good reason. It has 180 HP for a non-GX EX basic attacker. Can you believe it? 180 HP, where are the, 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 the things going to? Pokemon is going crazy, what? It does have an ability to hold it down. Seal of Antiquini, or actually, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it has an ability. The Pokemon can attack and let Regirock, Regice and Regi still are on your bench so it slows down quite a bit with that ability but I would play Regigigas as followed I would play it with Tapu Lele and Kiawe. We use Kiawe on the first turn, grab a bunch of energies onto our Regigigas, try to get out an Alola Muck or maybe a Garbodor with Garbotoxin, shut down our own ability in the process and then we are able to use Giant Stomp, 160 damage and discard a Stadium card in play. So that is the attack it has. And with Kiawe and maybe Alolan Muck or the uh, yeah, Garbotoxin Garbodor, we have an ideal deck. One prize attacker deals a lot of damage. The bad thing is that we are stuck in the active position after using Kiawe because we cannot attack our turn ends immediately but it's definitely having some potential here but if you want to play all the Regis in your deck good luck with that either <laughs> either way we have a number 15 it is Luzamine Luzamine is uh, the mother of Lily and we now have it as a trainer card it is also available as a full art in this set the supporter states put two in any combination of supporter and stadium cards from your discard pile into your hand in a format where VS Seeker is rotated out in the standard format where you don't have uh, access to VS Seeker, Luzamine can be one of those supporters that can grab two Guzmas straight from uh, your discard pile and uh, put them back into your hand to use next turn or maybe if they end us you have a better chance of grabbing that uh, Guzma. So yeah, recovering supporters is something we've seen with uh, VS Seeker but now it's in a supporter form. I don't know how I feel about it, that's why it's kind of low on the list but it also grabs stadium cards, maybe an expanded like uh, Skyfield can be one of those uh, stadium cards that you want to keep in play turn after turn maybe with Xerneas, Rainbow Road or uh, Mega Rayquaza EX. So an interesting strategy. Maybe also with the Zoroark uh, GX since that also uses uh, yeah, your bench space quite uh, <laughs> oftenly. So next up is number 14 and this is the first GX on the list. It is Alolan Exeggutor GX. This is a Dragon type, believe it or not. 220 HP for stage one, perfect. It is uh, also uh, weak to Fairy, which is not perfect. It gets demolished by Gardevoir, but it has an interesting attack. So let's say you have an Execute out, you evolve it, bang, it gets 220 HP and you're a Dragon type. So uh, the good thing about this uh, Alolan Exeggutor is the first attack. It deals, actually there's gonna state the name first, it's Tropical Head. 
It deals 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Let's say you have two energies attached to Alolan Executor GX. You deal 40 damage uh, to one of your opponent's po bench Pokemon or actually to one of your opponent's Pokemon in general. If you combine that with the new Venusaur from Shining Legends, we might have a crazy strategy and it does take the amount of energy. So you can attach a DCE as well and it would count as uh, extra energy. Let's say you use Max Elixir on your Execute, Emmanuel Grass Energy on your Execute and get Venusaur out. That it already counts as four energies then slap a DCE onto it for some particular reason or I don't know you can do that and then you automatically create something good here you uh, get a lot of damage sniping potential and that could be a great deck of its own but then again sniping damage is something we've seen before with Alola Ninetales and that is way better with a simple DCE you all automatically snipe 50 so but that, nevertheless, if you can get a ton of energies onto this uh, Alolan Executor GX, it might snipe for a lot of damage. Weak basics like Zoroa, Ralts and more will uh, suffer uh, thanks to that. Also, Dragon Hammer deals 120 damage and your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. But then for Grass and Tree Carlos energies, that's a little bit overpriced in my opinion. But Confusion is great as we've seen before with Espeon GX. Now to the GX move of Alolan Executor, it's Tower Go Round GX, 180 damage and you can move any number of energy from your Pokemon to any other, uh, yeah, of your Pokemon in any way you like. So let's say you use that Tropical uh, Head for uh, some sniping damage and then you finish off with that GX move, getting a KO and then spreading your energies around on your bench. Another great thing here is that there's also, I believe, uh, something to get yourself, uh, your Execu Executors out really quickly, so that is interesting, so maybe that could be a great deck but it's still pretty low on the list and now we're moving on to gore guys gore guys pretty much in time for halloween here is a great uh yeah card and could be a, a deck of its own it has 120 hp and gore guys has the attack confuse ray that is nothing that we're gonna look at it's just yeah confusing the active pokemon but the other attack for a dce pumpkin bomb deals 10 damage and uh, before doing damage you may discard any number of pokemon tool cards from your pokemon this attack deals 40 more damage for each card you discard it in this way. Let's say you have a deck with a lot of tool cards, maybe with Alolan Radigate, I don't know, and uh, you can just slap a lot of tool cards onto your bench and just discard maybe three of them, that way you're already dealing, or yeah, let's say, yeah, you discard four of them. If you discard four of them, you're dealing 170 damage, which is awesome, that rocks. So uh, that way you can destroy Tapu Lele GXs in one shot for a DCE by just discarding tool cards. And uh, if you want to have tool cards uh, back from the discard, there's an Oranguru in the set as well. Uh, I'm gonna pair it here on the same slot here. It has the uh, Fixer of Forest, put three Pokemon tool cards from your discard pile into your hand. That way you recover your tool cards and you can uh, smash once again with Pumpkin Bomb. So interesting, it's uh, fi actually a uh, Psychic type as well. So it uh, could be used to destroy Espeon GXs and uh, maybe uh, Garbodors, but Garbodors are just easily one shot at anyhow. And it does have Weakness to Darkness instead of just Psychic, which is great. Okay, that was a mouthful. Now we are going to another GX of the set. It is Gyarados GX. If you are wondering, Gyarados is one of those GXs that uh, evolves from Magikarp, which I'm gonna talk about here. Just gonna put them in the same slot here. There is a uh, Magikarp with the ability Submerge. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent prevents all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks, both yours and your opponents. The abilities still go through. So let's say the opponent has two Decidueyes, they can still swipe, uh, snipe twice on the Magikarp and you die. But attacks like uh, maybe Umbreon uh, GX's attack will not work at all. You don't receive damage. Tapu Koko Flying Flip, the same thing here. Submerge keeps your Magikarp safe which actually helps in the long run because Gyarados does need a lot of energies and if we can uh, manage to get our Magikarp with Aqua Patch and Max Elixir just putting a ton of energies onto our Magikarp we might have a deck that works because they will need to Guzma it out to knock it out and if they don't have Guzma we're safe that's how it goes no flying flip here <laughs> okay what could also work really well with the um Gyarados deck that can have two 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 cards attached uh, all the way from Ancient Origins I believe that an expanded could be great to use this magic card but now back to Gyarados GX 240 HP if you thought 220 on Alolan Exeggutor was great this is even better for a stage one we go from 30 HP to 240 HP Gyarados will be rocking the place here for a water and a DCE we deal 70 damage just 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 great for two shotting here just slap a choice band onto it uh, Aqua Patch and DCE and you're off so not too bad. Also, to get it out there, 
If you get that same uh, amount of energies onto your Magikarp, you can use that Waterfall Evolution and you can search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and uh, evolve it straight from the bat. So that way you're not weak with 30 HP. And uh, it also has a second attack that Gyarados GX Dragonic, or actually Dragonic Disaster. It deals 100 damage. If there's a Stadium card in play, which most of the time will be uh, maybe a Brocklet Hill or maybe something else, and uh, maybe Parallel City. I don't know what you're gonna play, <laughs> but uh, you actually deal 100 more damage and uh, if, you, uh, if there's a stadium card in play. And what do we have to discard it though? So just keep that in mind. Play a stadium card that works uh, before you discard it, like Brooklyn Hill, for example. You deal 200 damage. The bad thing is you need a bazillion energies, two DCE and a water energy. The good news is we have energy acceleration with Aqua Patch in the format. So maybe using uh, yeah, uh, manual energy, two Aqua Patches and a DCE, you can get your attack going on the first turn. <laughs> that is crazy. Or actually the second turn because we need to wait a turn to evolve. But that could happen. 200 damage is a lot. With Choice Band, destroying Guard of War GXs is awesome. But 200 uh, damage will actually destroy almost all things. Like maybe the popular Drumpa GX, Tapu Bulu GX. Most uh, things will go down to that attack. The bad thing is we're weak to Guard of War GX with so many energies attached and Tapu Koko GX can uh, one-shot us with Sky High Claws which is also something I don't really like with that. But then again Lightning is only getting popular with Raichu GX so maybe we're a little bit safe here because Raichu GX is not performing that well as of yet but could change in the future. Dredge Storm GX is his GX move for a single water energy, discard any, actually discard one energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon. This is really great in things like the Lissapod GX Garbodor, where they all, all have one energy, one grass or maybe one rainbow. You can just get rid of uh, one energy on each of your opponent's Pokemon, which could help in the long run if uh, they have all their energies attached on their field and they don't have much energies left in their deck. Dreadstorm GX might be your savior here for a single water energy, so that is awesome. And we're sticking with water here, we are going to Reggie Ice, or Reg Ice, or maybe even better, Reg Nice. <laughs> yeah, ta <laughs> Reg Ice is one of those Pokemon just the same with, uh, yeah, how are we gonna talk about this one? Remember that uh, we have an Alolan Ninetales in the set, or actually in the previous set, the uh, Burning Shadow set, that cannot get hit by GXs and EXs, while this one cannot be hit by uh, Stage 2, so that is also prevents all effects of attacks, including the damage done to it by your opponent's Stage 2s, which is great. So uh, Gardevoir GX, not gonna touch me. Metagross GX, not gonna touch me. The Sejuai GX, not gonna touch me, and many more, it goes on. The new Soul Galeo GX that comes out the set after this, it will not even touch us. This is a great card if you're playing water, splash one uh, into your deck, you'll uh, see you're having a great time against certain matchups. It also has an attack, dealing 70 damage, just uh, yeah, mediocre here, but <laughs> the ability is where it stands here, Reg Ice. Sounds so nice. Okay, now we are moving on to the top 10. Number 10. Alolan Golem GX. It looks really promising, but uh, it uh, has been slowed down in the ranking here because it works better in Expanded and I'm a little bit more uh, focused on Standard. In Expanded you can start playing with, with Electric to just to have some energy acceleration. In the Standard format, maybe try out Magnezone, but then again you have two Stage 2s in your deck, but you have a decent attacker to say the least. We have, uh, yeah, this Alolan Golem GX. Uh, for the first attack, 80 damage, flat arm. Uh, this is great for two-shotting, as mentioned earlier. Would be great. Uh, you cannot even one-shot a Gyarados GX, even with Choice Band, so uh, I'm not too sure about the damage output just yet. It also has a second attack, Super Electromagnetic Tackle. Wow, that attack is huge. <laughs> it deals 200 damage. Uh, this attack, uh, actually this Pokemon, does 50 damage to itself. With the expanded format, you can use Protection Cube and a format like this, hmm, you have to rely on uh, maybe something else, maybe Acerola, <laughs> I don't know. You have to heal up the damage somehow because you have 250 HP, I give you that, that is great. But after using this twice, you're in a one hit KO range and the opponent will just obliterate us. But then again, 200 damage, nothing to, sn to snooze as. 200 damage is enough to one-shot almost anything. As said, with Gyarados GX, that number is awesome. With Choice Band, 230, with Kakui, 250. So I like the damage output. For two lightning and a DCE, you can get there. You can maybe use uh, things like Electrode to do that. Uh, use the Electrode, attach a DCE, and boom, you're off. Electrode also gives up one prize, the one from Evolutions. But uh, as mentioned earlier, Counter Catcher will be uh, mentioned later in the video. Uh, but uh, that can be used in, uh, if you're standing behind in prize cards. So early on would be awesome. Heavy Rock GX is also something I really like. 100 damage. Your opponent can't play any item cards, or actually can't play any cards for that matter, from their hand during their next turn. This is huge. Let's say you attach 
much an energy to your uh, alone golem GX and uh, the opponent is stuck in the active position. You want to slow them down, you deal 100 damage and next turn they cannot play anything from their hand. No Guzma, no N, no Sycamore, no anything, no, not even energy, so you can just trap it in the active position for a turn and win the game really great early game that way you prevent them from using rare candy or anything like that while you are still setting up your bench so no cards being played from the hand one of the best uh, gx side effects i've seen in a while that's uh, what's made golem uh, here a little golem on the number 10 spot number nine goes to some metal love if you uh, love metal pokemon We've seen Regis before. Registeel is just as good or even better. That's why it's even higher on the list. 130 HP and for a single metal energy, you can uh, do, deal 30 damage and attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. It doesn't even state it has to be a metal to energy. It does, just states it has to be a basic energy. You can splash this in, into any deck that runs rainbow and you can also benefit from that side effect. So uh, if you have a choice band onto your Registeel, you're already dealing 60 damage on the metal type, uh, yeah, GXs or anything that is weak to metal, which is great, aka Gardevoir once again, and uh, could be used as energy acceleration early on to set up your metal type Pokemon. That's why it's in here. I really love the side effect of that first attack, and maybe with Delmice you can uh, add the damage up even further. There's also Stella Stila uh, that's coming up in a promo collection box. Maybe you could make use of Registeel. Also, the second attack deals 90 damage, and if Regis is on your bench, you can heal the damage. You heal 30 damage from yourself, but don't play it with Red Jazz, play it just with uh, some metal types and you'll be doing really, really fine. Number eight, another GX. It is Guzzlord GX. If you went to a pre-release, you already know what this card does really well. It is a 210 HP basic GX, an ultra beast, and it is ultra indeed. With the first attack, eat sloppily, you discard the top five cards of your deck. If any of those cards are energy cards, then attach them to this Pokemon. So early on, if you have a lot of darkness energies, maybe play 14 to 16 uh, darkness energies in your deck, just to have that chance of getting all the energies on turn two and bang. You can start hitting with Tyrannical Hole, dealing 180 damage with Choice Band. Again, perfect numbers. That is just great. The bad thing is it needs a lot of energies, but you have Manual Attachment, the first attack, and maybe even Max Electric to make use of it. And if you want to learn more about Guzzlord GX, I already made an episode about Guzzlord. Definitely check it out on the channel to learn more. I already made a deck with it as well with uh, the Whimsy Cut from Guardians Rising. And uh, then it also has that GX move, Gluten GX, okay. deals 100 damage and uh, if your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, you take two more prize cards, yes, that is where the card shines. Just think about, oh, they are starting with Alone Alolan Vulpix, ooh, whatever, just knock it out, boom, you get three prize cards. You're already halfway there, <laughs> just that good is it. You use Eat Sloppy on the beginning of the game, knock something out, maybe a Curly up, maybe, maybe a Matang, I don't even care what you knock out, if you can knock it out with 120 damage, you're you're good and even in expanded if people still play shame and ex use a choice but and knock it out i dare you you get yourself four prize cards <laughs> okay that is all about guzzlord gx it is here on the number eight spot now we're going to number seven mill tank why is Miltank better than Guzzlord? That is what you're wondering. Well, Miltank is a basic Pokemon. It's splashable in every deck and has the ability Moo Moo Malt. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, whenever you're attaching energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, heal 90 damage. Wow, I can just think about the possibilities here. Let's say you put a Miltank on the active position when something gets knocked out. You can just heal off your bench completely. If you play things like Gardevoir GX with Secret Spring, maybe um, mm, something else here is Magnezone also attaching energies from the hand that way you can heal off immense immense damage so let's say, say you're playing Raichu GX with Magnezone and uh, you just swap around maybe with a Guzma and uh, this uh, yeah Miltank has free retreat that you can heal off everything with attaching energies just so great 90 damage per energy I think that deserves definitely some recognition will not work with things like Vika Volt or uh, Metagross GX just to get it out there only works from the hand it also has an attack not too uh, sloppy here it deals 60 damage and uh, if you flip heads you deal 90 damage so two hitting if you're uh, luck with coin flip if you have luck with coin flip but then it's uh, all about the ability metal tank seeing a huge potential here next is boss wall gx a lot of people are putting this one higher in the list but i think boss wall is good here on the number six spot just because it's weak to psychic it uh, gets knocked out so fast by a garboder or maybe an espion uh, gx so that's why i'm putting it on the number six spot it is a really great pokemon reminds me of uh, the um what is it again uh, 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 uh. It's a genie here, the genie. We have Thunderous, 
Tornadus. Yeah, it's Landorus. It reminds me of Landorus EX back in the days of Boundaries Cross. And uh, it has the attack, uh, same attack here, actually dealing 30 damage and then 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. The good news is here in a format with a lot of Pokemon that needs evolution, this gets even more hype. With Espeon EX, we can devolve something. If they have 60 HP and uh, they have evolved from something, they die automatically. Think about Magramites, think about Rolls, think about a little Vulpix, think about other things like uh, maybe a Rowlet. There's a lot of things with 60 HP that will go down. Use the Jet Punch attack twice and then devolve them. Boom, you get two prize cards while uh, they are uh, suffering in silence. Yeah, that's the first attack. Jet Punch gets uh, uh, even more power with strong energy. You can boost it up to 50. Choice Band boosts it up to uh, yeah 80 damage while you're still dealing 30 damage on the bench for a single energy. Yeah, I love it. Boswell GX, only bad thing in a format with full of Garbodors. Yeah, not that good. But then again, Garbodor decks usually play uh, the Drumpa GX, which is weak to fighting, so that's good. Also, Buzzwall GX destroys Zoroark GXs and also uh, other things that are weak to fighting like Raichu. So uh, definitely seeing potential here. That's why it's in the list, of course, in the top 10 on the number six spot. The second attack, Knuckle Impact, deals 160 damage and uh, this Pokemon cannot attack during your next turn. Might cause some problems. We've seen it before with Lapras. We've seen it before with uh, Volcanion. If you're stuck in the active position and you cannot attack, uh, there are still ways to get around that. You can use uh, something like Guzma and then retreating the active Pokemon. You can uh, use something like an uh, Acerola to just put it back in the hand if it's stuck. Or maybe you can use Pokemon Ranger. So uh, once you switch to the bench, uh, the uh, effect gets neglected and you can still attack. So that's what's uh, being done here. Also, Pokemon Ranger could be great. That way you just use the supporter, bang, you can attack on the spot. Absorption GX, uh, 40 damage times uh, yeah, the number of your remaining prize cards. So Absorption GX, which states if uh, this attack actually is used early game, for each of your remaining prize cards. So early game, this will deal a ton of damage. Let's say Max Elixir and some stuff. Well, you are actually able to deal a maximum of 240 damage. Wow, early game will knock out everything with a choice band. So Boswell GX, huge potential. Maybe with Mew, you can set it up, use that shining Mew, get some energies onto your Boswell and boom, you're off to destroy everyone. Boswell GX, ladies and gentlemen. Next up is number five, Cartana. Cartana GX is one of my personal favorites since I uh, will be playing it in a uh, Glissapod list with Rainbow Energies. It has the uh, attack. I'm just gonna talk about the ability first and gonna make my way on to the attacks. Weak to fire, meh, rip, because Volcanion is still around, but it only has one retreat cost. Why wouldn't you play it? Resistance to Psychic? Awesome. It has the ability Slice Off. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, during your turn, you may discard a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. AKA, if you slap it down, you can use Enhanced Hammer freely, which is great. You can now search out your um, yeah, Enhanced Hammer with a Tapu Lele or maybe an Ultra Ball, which is great. Uh, it also has an attack 70 damage with Glade Blade, uh, Metal and a DCE, and uh, you may shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. Whoop, it's gone. If it has damage and it uh, served its purpose, served its purpose rather <laughs> you can just put it back in the deck let's say you use slice off discarding a special energy and uh, use max electric dc and it shuffles its back in the deck you can still use slice off once again the turn after that or maybe uh, later down on the game next is blade gx this is where uh, the hype gets real take one prize card bang and that's it just take a prize card that's awesome early game is not that great because people will be playing counter catch or counter energy just uh, to get it out there uh, but uh, things are great here when you use it late game. Let's say you only need to pick one prize card. Your opponent did something annoying and now there's a prize race where there are three prize cards remaining. You knocked out a GX and you're stuck here with one prize card to pick and your opponent has huge GXs like Metagross on their field or something that you cannot one shot. Well, there comes that Cartana GX taking that last prize card and boom, you win. Awesome like that. Okay, that's why it's number five. I really like the uh, Blade GX. Next is number four. Probably the best Ultra Beast of the set is Nihaligo GX. 180 HP, weak to Psychic. Eh, I, there's a lot of things that are weak to Psychic, just to, uh, th I just noticed that. <laughs> Next, it has the ability, Empty Light. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may leave both active Pokemon confused and poisoned. Wow, works really well with Machamp EX. Works also pretty well with Darkrai GX. If, let's, let's say, you slap it down and uh, just use that attack, 
boom, or actually use that ability, it's actually confused and poisoned on a basic if you slap it down. Then you could use that NGX to get yourself a knockout on anything. Does not matter if it has 250 HP, even more if something new comes out, it gets one shot with that NGX. So that combo with Nihiligo GX and Darkrai GX is definitely possible. And uh, next up, it also has an attack for three psychic energies, which is a lot. And this is just too much. Maybe you need to play Max Elixir if you want to uh, get it off. To 120 damage, the defending Pokemon cannot retreat during their next turn. You can leave something stuck. Maybe uh, that's something that wants to retreat, but then again, we have Guzma in the format. We have Zoro Arcrit stand, and there's a lot of options to get out of the active position. So the attack is garbage, but the second attack, Symboyant GX, or if it's that, uh, if it's pronounced that way, anyhow, it, it adds the top two cards of your opponent's deck to their prize cards. Boom! And now they're crying. <laughs> yes. Oh, I almost took the game. Well, take two more prize cards and uh, start over. That is just too good to be true. If you are playing it, maybe with Shining Mew once again, putting energies onto Nihilio GX, sacrifice your Mew, putting two, two extra uh, prize cards to your opponent. But then again, it's a long strategy to go. Maybe with a Max Lexer early game would be great. Let's say the opponent has eight prize cards remaining. That is just great. Oh man. And it also has the empty light to slow the opponent down. If they're confused, they cannot, uh, yeah, they can attack, but if they flip tails, they slap damage on themselves, which is awesome. Also, if the opponent's active Pokemon is uh, poisoned straight from the bat, it reminds me of the Hypnotoxic laser, laser back in the days to get extra damage. So this is also some sort of like a plus power. If you slap it down, you can have it, uh, the opponent's uh, active Pokemon being poisoned that has extra 10 damage. Things like uh, maybe Noivern GX could play this because Noivern has free retreat. If you're confused, you can swap to another Noivern. Start uh, doing damage here. Maybe uh, there's also a, a new stadium card I'm gonna talk about here. Uh, I'm gonna pair it here. I'm gonna put it in a video. It's not the best card ever, but it's Devoured Field. Can get blown away with Field Lore, but the attacks of Darkness type Pokemon and Dragon type Pokemon deal 10 more damage to the opponent's active Pokemon. Combine that with Charles Band and uh, yeah, maybe the uh, Noivern GX has some potential with Nihilio GX, but Nihilio GX is my boy here. If you are playing something like, hmm, let's say a Dark Ride GX, definitely test it out. That's why it's so high on the list. You can even put it in Garbodor decks just to uh, yeah, have yourself some fun with those prize cards. Next is Sil Valley GX. What can I say about him? That hasn't been said already. It evolves from Type Null. That is something you already know. Type Null is also something interesting here because Type Null is a uh, nothing to sneeze at. Uh, let's just check it out if I can find it. Yeah, it has 110 HP for a basic Pokemon, not like your regular Eevees or Zoroaks with 60 HP. It has 110 HP, will be easy to devolve. It also has an armor press dealing 30 damage. During your opponent's next turn, it takes 30 less damage and also deals 70 damage. Not the best in the world, but uh, that Silk Valley GX is where it shines. It has the ability Gyro Unit. As long as this Pokemon is in play, all of your basic Pokemon have zero retreat cost. That's right. Let's say, oh no, I'm playing uh, Guzzlord GX and I have a bazillion retreat cost. We get this one out, we have free retreat, it's chill, it's fine. Uh, that's uh, something I do li really like about the card. Things that have a huge retreat cost can now become playable. Think about Regigigas with a huge retreat cost. Yeah, but then again, if you, uh, yeah, this is it. A little unmuck, Sil Valley GX and Regigigas. Bang, free retreat, a huge attacker, Max Alexis, Kiawe, everything as possible. <laughs> Maybe a fun deck to try out. It also has the attack Turbo Drive, 120 damage and attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your yeah, but one of your bench Pokemon. We've seen it before, uh, an attack like this with the uh, Requiem from Guardians Rising, but this is 120 damage to hitting while attaching energies is just too good to be true. And uh, why is this card so high on the list? Is this better than the Ultra Beast? In standard, um, I'm still having doubts, but in expanded, you can start uh, yeah, doing racking up havoc with this card because there are so many combinations possible. So uh, it also comes with those memory discs. If you are not familiar with those memories, memory cards are uh, uh, there for attaching to the Salvation. GX, and if you attach that to your Savali GX, uh, it already tra transforms into a type. Let's say you have, a, let's say the fighting memory. You attach it to Savali GX. Boom! Your Savali GX is now a fighting type. Now you can one-shot Zoroark GXs and Raichu GXs without any problem. So uh, and then it goes on. There's another uh, memory in here, Psychic Memory. Boom! It's a Psychic type. You destroy. Uh, yeah, the. Um, SP on GXs, boom, they're gone. And other things like that. Oh, Buzz Lord, oh, oh, or actually Boss Wall, oh, weakness to Psychic, bang, you're dead. Nihilio, weakness to Psychic, boom, Silk Valley shows its might. The bad thing is that there are only two uh, memory cards coming out in the Crimson Invasion set, so be careful here. Uh, there are still more coming out. I see now a Fire one uh, already around and uh, another one, I believe. So uh, things will come better for Silk Valley GX. 
Next is uh, Rebel GX. This attack deals 50 damage times the number of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Seen it before with Lycanroc GX and uh, you know how powerful that GX move is. Most of the times the opponent sets up with Bridget, that's fine. You already deal a bunch of damage that way. Rebel GX, not too, nothing to snooze at. Okay. Oh wow, that was a ton, right? Um, next up, we are in the top two. I haven't talked about counter, counter stuff. No, what could be number two? It's counter energy. Why is counter energy in here? Counter energy can only be attached to EXs and GXs. Why is it even on the number two spot? Because certain decks run on those energies. Definitely an expanded, there's a lot of potential here and uh, things will go crazy. Sometimes people will make a deck surrounding the counter energy and uh, it states, if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent and uh, this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't the GX or EX, this card provides provides every type of energy and provides two at the same time. Double rainbow energy, boom. And uh, you have to fall behind on prize cards, but think about Shining Mew will be an ideal starter Pokemon if you uh, start to do something with it. You can uh, just attach those counter energies to your Pokemon and uh, maybe spread around some damage with a spreading deck that does not even take prizes, only uh, at the late game they take prizes. So things are definitely possible here. I'm a huge fan of counter energy. And if that wasn't enough, there's also counter catcher. And both of these catch, uh, this is the number one slot, by the way, spoiler, you already knew that. Yeah, they are all available as full art secret rares. So the price will stack up with these cards. Counter Catcher is the number one in this video. Why is that? You can only play this card if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. I just love the idea that po the Pokemon company put behind this because with this, you create something that, oh no, I uh, got uh, set behind in prize cards and uh, I need to take six more and the opponent only uh, needs to take three more. Well, you have this comeback card. You have Counter Catcher, you have Counter Energy. I know the conditions must be ideal, but we have cards to search it out we have Skyla we even uh, that special energy would be a little bit different though but counter catcher is easy searchable with Skyla and definitely uh, will be a great occlusion in uh, most decks let's say oh no I'm uh, having a terrible some terrible luck to set up I'm falling behind now you can make use of counter catcher and regain your game that's how good it is it's life center in an item form it's uh, the Guzma without your own switching it's just that good it's Pokemon catcher back in the maids of uh, emerging powers but then without the coin flip so it's really great this is one of the best side effects are actually the effects in the game and in whole. You've seen it before with Bloodthirsty Eyes and uh, Lycanroc GX did that really well. Luxray uh, GX level uh, level X I believe <laughs> did also really well and uh, took the format by storm. So Counter Catcher, something to look forward to, will regain games and that's why I'm putting it on the number one spot. But as mentioned, this is just my list. It's been a long video but I wanted to get all the information about Crimson Invasion to you guys as quickly as possible as always. Uh, yeah, put your list in the comment section below or uh, let me know what you think is the best card from the set that will uh, give myself some knowledge to uh, yeah make some decks with it. Deck ideas are also welcome in the comment section below. That way I know what to make on the TCG online matches and uh, what you guys want to see. And uh, that's it for another episode. I hope you guys had a blast. Uh, as always, I also have a little segment here that I like to call Poke News. And if you're not familiar with Poke News, Poke News is the segment where I talk about new uh, releases. But since Crimson Invasion is a new release in general, uh, there's not a lot to talk about here. There's still the World Championships uh, 2017 decks uh, that uh, will be available on the 17th of November. So that is also the, the days that the international stake plays at London. I will also be attending that tournament. So if you want to see me and uh, yeah, uh, say uh, say hi to me, just uh, come at me. You just know what I look like. Check my TCG online videos and uh, I will be there uh, maybe with uh, some cards that I'm going to give away to you. Anyhow, uh, the image doesn't uh, give away too much here, but we see that the uh, World Championship decks will contain uh, yeah at least Guard of War and Galissapod. So that is interesting. Also, the senior decks will maybe be shown here with that uh, Alola Ninetale. So World Championship decks are amazing to use as proxies and uh, yeah, just great if you want to get people into the game, buy one of those uh, World Championship decks. Just to know is that as, uh, as the pre-rotation format, so VS Seekers will be in those World Championship decks. Also, the Alolan Raichu box is now available in Europe. I've seen it already in uh, yeah, my local card shop, so you can grab that one if you're in Europe. Uh, it uh, contains a Raichu, uh, pretty sweet looking holographic promo with some uh, packs in there as well. And uh, uh, the, the next thing is the February English set will be called uh, Ultra Prism, a new mechanic and five Ultra Beasts. I do predict that uh, they will uh, follow the, the thing like the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games will be available already. So they will follow the new Ultra Beast that we've seen before. Check out the uh, previous uh, video, actually the previous episode to see what the new Ultra Beast look like. You'll be uh, 
adhesive, I believe, and UB something else. <laughs> yeah, they look pretty weird, but they will also be featured in TCG sets, I believe. UB burst, UB, UB adhesive, and UB assembly. Yeah, wow, that's a lot to take in. So. Yeah, that's a new set that's been coming out in February, which will also probably have that Sogaleo GX that we want. That is really, really something to look forward to. And uh, also, if you're still playing Pokemon Go, go out uh, this Halloween uh, with your friends and uh, start catching some, uh, uh, yeah, Gen 3 Pokemon. We have uh, Sableye, we have uh, Duskull, Dusclops, and also Shuppet and Bennett available to us. Also, that Pikachu with a head can now be caught. So definitely uh, check out Pokemon Go if you're interested in that, if you're still having a community online with WhatsApp or maybe Facebook. Definitely have yourselves a good Halloween. And uh, that's it for another episode. It was an action-packed video. We're already at 40 minutes. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are still sticking with me. If you are, you guys rock. Definitely show your support by destroying the like button as uh, yeah, I would like uh, to remind you because that does help out and uh, give me the motivation and support to make more and better videos for you guys. Anyways, this was Zapdos TCG here. Have a fantastic day and I will see you guys soon enough with more Pokemon TCG videos. I'm out. Peace.